What's going on everybody, Josh Bocock here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up and self-host FlowWise AI in the easiest way possible. This is an open source, low code tool for developers to build customized LLM orchestration flow and AI agents. And I'm gonna show you how you can do all of this using Coolify. Let's dive right into it. All right, so if you're not familiar with Coolify, I've done many videos on it recently, so check some of those out. But basically, to sum it up, it's a very easy self-hosting platform. It's open source as well. It's an alternative to Heroku, Netlify, and Vercel. And you can do this with Coolify, or you can do it just simply with Flowwise. You can do it either way, and I'll show you both. But um, specifically, I'm going to really show you how to do this with Coolify. So if you're new to Coolify or if you want to use Coolify, you can just go to Coolify.io. Link for that will be in the description. And you just run this command right here. All right. Very simple setup. Once you do that, you will have something that looks like this. Coolify. And I'm going to go do projects and create a new project here called Flowwise AI Test. Okay. And we'll come back to this in just a second. Now, if I go over to Flowwise, just to give you a quick overview, here is what Flowwise kind of looks like on their website. And you can see different things, you know, connecting with Langchang, Llama Index, 100 plus integrations, agents and assistance, custom tools, OpenAI, function agent, API, SDK enabled or embed. Um, React SDK, open source LLMs, Hugging Face, Olama, Local AI, Replicate, Mistral, um, Lava, self host on AWS, Azure, etc. So different use cases, right? A lot of cool stuff here. Query S SQL database, customer support. So you can create these bots. There's a bunch of videos on Flowwise that you can check out. And I'll do more as well, teaching you guys updates. And it's essentially a drag and drop builder. All right. Now, if we go over to, they have a community and stuff too. You can check out more about Flowwise. Link for that will be in the description. Here's their actual uh, Discord, or, or sorry, their GitHub right here. So um, build LLM apps easily, drag and drop builder. So a few different ways you can install it. You can install it, you know, using npm install g flowwise, start flowwise, like so. And then with username and password, you can also use Docker Compose like so, run image, etc. Now, I'm going to be showing you how you can do this. And, and it's very simple if you do it that way. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can do it with Coolify. And the reason I like using Coolify is you can easily manage multiple self-hosted open source um, apps. And you'll see that in just a second if you're new to Coolify. So... If you're new to Coolify and you wonder why you would want to use it, just watch this video and you'll see how easy it is. Now, also too, you may be wondering if you are using Coolify. Okay, well, I know how to use Coolify and I know how to... Um, so basically, so, so say, see, we just created this project. Once you're in the pro uh, a project of Coolify, you'll see an environment. It's always going to be production. You could add another environment, but we'll just go into production. And then in resources, if we click add resources, you'll see that uh, Coolify has a lot of like pre uh you know uh install services so we have databases here you can use docker stuff and then services right so i've showed different videos on how to install some of these services like n8n um superbase etc now you may be wondering there's wordpress too okay well how do i install something using github or whatnot so we're going to show you how to do that today with flowwise so first off with depending on the GitHub um, or the repository, you may need to fork it. Um, and that's what I did. So I had to fork Flowwise basically so I could change. Because, okay, there's a few different ways you can install it with Coolify. Um, and, you know, I'm still learning more and more about Coolify and how to use it and all this stuff. I'm just going to show you what works best for me, what I found. So to do this, we go to public repository okay once we do that i'm going to and if you don't know how to fork something um like for example this is their main 
repo uh all i did well you can fork it in many ways i was just in the docker file or you can do it you don't have to do it this way but i just want edit and it's going to say you're gonna have to fork this project because essentially what i wanted to do oh did i just fork it no wait what um okay well anyways you're gonna have to fork the file um the whole repo which i did right here okay once you fork it um i went into docker and docker compose because i'm going to be installing this through docker okay now let's just see here so this is all so if i go to um this is flowwise's documents installed or their yeah their documents so you can read um get more information here but the main thing that we're looking at is the environment variables okay because these are the things right here that you can add to flowwise in your install right and i basically just put the bare bones for what we need which is um right here so the environment is port 3000 flowwise username um this is obviously what we're using for this test here right and so flowwise username user flowwise password password um port and then um security key and if you fork flowwise you can pretty much just let's see so here i'll show you what the main the original docker compose file looks like so let's go here oops go cancel go here and docker docker compose so it's a bit longer um and yeah you can pretty much delete a lot of this now some of it you may want to add in later and then just redeploy all right for certain things you need this was what i found was the base bones to just get it up and running and then some of this you may want to add or you know change around afterwards maybe certain things right but um i'll even leave this in the description down below so you can just copy mine and use it once you change that you're going to want to commit those changes on the forked repo and then you're going to use this repo so i'm going to use everything the main branch of the repo and i'm just going to paste it right here okay and i'm going to check repository once I do that, it's going to ask me how do I want to install it. So there's a few different build packs. There's Nix packs, static, Docker file, and Docker and Compose. The reason why I you know, edited the Docker and everything is we're going to use Docker Compose. All right. So Docker Compose, continue. Okay. And then I'm just going to, I mean, you could change the name, whatever, flow. Okay, and save. So basically, we're going to want to Docker and then here. So we're going to want to put the Docker compose file location here. So as you can see, the Docker compose file doesn't have a, an A here in this one. So it's Docker compose and the it's in the folder of Docker. So you're just going to want to put this in the Docker file location. So forward slash Docker forward slash Docker dash compose dot YML. Make sure you don't have the A there. Then you're going to want to reload the compose file. That's going to reload it into your Coolify. All right. From that point on, we're going to want to go to our environment variables because we have these environment variables and we're going to want to set these. Actually, wait, actually, they're already set just because of the Docker compose file. So obviously this is just for testing purposes this is not the user password etc that um you know you're gonna want to use you're gonna actually want to change this of course to like an actual secure password and all this stuff but from that point on we're just you know for the sake of this video which i'm going to delete this uh afterwards we're just going to use 
this. And we can simply just go deploy. And it's going to start deploying. We're going to see everything right here. Importing. We can go show debug logs. Okay, so something's not working right. Driver failed. Oh, it's because I'm already using this port. Okay, so um, since I'm using that on another flow wise, I may have to go ahead and change this port. Let's just go ahead in here, edit this compose file. Um, just for the sake of this video, we can do this 301, commit here. Okay, then let's go and reload this. Okay, 301, environment variables, port. 301 okay and then update all right now let's get deploy this okay so it started um oh one thing i should have done is let me just generate a domain here okay and then let me just redeploy okay success Let's go ahead and just check this domain. Obviously this will all be deleted. And boom. There we have it. User, password, boom. And we're in Flowwise. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna delete this after. Cause I already have a Flowwise and this is just a test. You can see here we can go add chat flow. We can go add you know different let me click here you can add agents lang chain llama index all right see agents here we can you know baby agi let me just delete this um air table agent agent used to answer queries on air table auto gpt baby agi conversational agent conversational retrieval agent mistral tool agent Open AI tool agent. Um, you know, you have different memory options here. Redis, uh, in memory cache, chains, get API chain, post API chain, SQL chain, chat models, all the different chat model options here. Hugging face, Mistral, open AI, Grok, document loaders, API loader, um, air table loader, uh, Appify web content crawler, load data from Appify, Cheerio web scraper, all right, Figma, GitHub, Notion, S3, embeddings, we got different embeddings, Google, Hugging Face, Voyage, LLMs, Memory, we got Zap, we got MongoDB, um, bunch of different options here. Output par parsers, prompts, record managers, retrievers, text splitters, tools, all right, Python interpreter. It's a really awesome tool. As you can see here, I'm just trying to give you guys a little brief overview here. Vector databases, just so you get an idea. Quadrant, super base, all right. Vector stores, this is new, Astra Chroma. So yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, we got Postgres here to get in here, play around with this tool, Llama Index and Beta. So really awesome stuff that we're seeing here. We can go ahead, go back, agent, flow. You can add new agents. You can go to marketplace. Check out the marketplace of agents, tools, great tools, assistance, open AI assistance, credentials, variables, API keys, document stores. You got the whole nine yards. All right, guys. So um, hope this helps you get Flowwise installed. You can start playing around with it, you know, learn it more if you're new to it. And the same thing with Coolify, and this also shows you how you can install other GitHubs with Coolify, how you sometimes may want to have to clone the 
GitHub repo, change the Docker compose file, and then, uh, or change the environment variables, etc. This applies for different installs too, which I'll show more in the future on this channel. Same thing with Flowwise. I'll show more videos with Flowwise, as well as stuff like N8N, all the different tools. So if you're into AI automation, if you're into building AI assistants, if you're new to this channel, we upload videos every single day just like this. And a lot more value. If you got value from this, we have a lot more value on this channel and a lot more coming. So I, I re uh, we're not going anywhere. We're not stopping. We're not, um, you know, decreasing value. My whole goal is to keep increasing the free value I provide to you guys here. So if you want to stay up to date with that, if you want to see what's coming next and the daily videos, then um, and you got value from here, uh, then I would definitely appreciate a subscription. It definitely helps. Subscribe down below. Really trying to grow this channel. And then, um, yeah, like the video, comment if you have any questions. I'll definitely respond and try to help you guys out if you have any issues. Other than that, guys, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already joined our free community, Stride Community, link for that will be in the description down below. We have a free Facebook group and free Discord channel with about 750 to 800 members in there. So if you're an AI enthusiast, entrepreneur, business owner, coach, consultant, marketing agency, B2B SaaS, service-based business, whatever the case may be, uh, join that link. It's 100% free and you can network with like-minded individuals, a part of this growing community like yourself as well as myself. And uh, so my socials are down below as well in the description, Instagram, uh, Twitter, etc. You can follow me on there to stay up to date and connect with me. And then other than that, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, definitely check it out. It's super, super value packed. And if you want help implementing things like AI bots, AI cold callers, whatever the case may be, anything to get more leads, grow your business, set up systems, automations, really good systems into your business so you can scale to 10K, 50K, 100K a month, whatever the case may be, book a call with myself and my team, executivestride.com forward slash apply executive stride.com forward slash apply where you can speak to us and see if it's a good fit or see if we can even help you um, and we can do some sort of partnership and grow your business together other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care